still unbeaten, still top of the league. So uh, the only disappointment pointing thing, as far as um, you're concerned, obviously, is conceding this, that that goal. Mm. Uh, you must have been so cross. Well, I, I am, but uh, the game should have been dead and buried by then. You know, it's the uh, it's the most one-sided two-one I've ever seen. You know, someone just said to me uh, off the paper that we had 19 chances today. Mm. You know, and uh, you know, and really the game should have been dead and buried at half time. Uh, you know, second half we come out, I thought we played some great stuff again, and uh, we should have had the game finished. But all, all, I've always said 2 0 is the worst scoreline in football. You know, you've only got to have a lucky break. And in. We defended shocking for the goal. Uh, Hetley's got through us, gone through about through five people, no one's really put in a challenge, and finished it off. And then all of a sudden, it was back to the wall stuff a little bit. You know, for just for a few minutes there, we lost our, lost our way. And, but nothing comes down to a bit of uh, youth. You know, we had no Jimmy Strauss today, no Steve Marshall. You know, and people like that, you know, put a bit of a uh, bit of uh, experience and they would have calmed everything down. But you know, but the, the young lads have got to learn that experience and it's and it's times like that, you know, that they are gonna learn from and uh, I'm sure they won't make the same mistake again. No, you're right. And touching on experience and Steve Marshall, I spoke to Steve a while ago and he actually said exactly that. He said uh, we showed a lack of maturity at times there. Well we did, but then you've got to remember that uh, today the average age was probably twenty years old, twenty one years old, you know, and uh, you know, I think, I think we've done well, it's a tough place to come and uh, we've got there and got the three points, so uh, I'm over the moon. Yeah, you must be, and uh, a tough game to look forward to on Tuesday night now against Deal. Well it is, you know, it's always an hard place to go. You know, we, we were down there trying to uh, try and get on with the job. Great opportunity, great opportunity for us to use up one in game plan and move further ahead, you know, and, uh, and that's what it's all about at this time of the season. You know, it's all about the points, you know, it's points now. If we, if we play like we did today, then uh, you know I, I think we, you know we won't far away Tuesday night. You know I think there were some great performances. I thought it was an all-round good team performance. Uh, you know, but it's, like I say, Dill's a very, very hard place to go to. You know they're on a good run at the moment. But you know, but they're the sort of place you got to go and uh, you know and get points, and that's what we'll be looking to do. Now uh, a lot has been said about the fact that we've got stri four strikers at the football club, but you've made a point. And it's been proved uh, prophetic words about having strength in depth. Uh, just remind everybody of the situation that we would have been on on Tuesday night. Well, you know, like we've uh, obviously Steve Marshall's injured and Pretty's out injured, and then we've got like you know Andy Constable's having his wisdom tooth out, so we'd have been down to Kingy, and that's why like you know about the user of contacts and that at Grove's End, and we brought in uh, uh, young John, uh, young John Akindi, who's come in and done a fantastic job for us today. Uh, but it's nice to have that uh, contact, you know, and uh, it's nice that you can uh, call on people like that, you know, and uh, you know, when you're a happy man. Now, apart from as you say, um, first half I, again, I thought we were superb. I thought it was absolutely. I thought it was good until they scored. Yeah. You know, I thought we was in total control of the game. Played some great stuff on a difficult pitch. You know, I thought we come here. You know, like we went and watched some Tuesday night. I thought our game plan worked, worked to a tee. But it worked with the three up front, you know, it's not very often off. I think that must be one of the first times I've played it to start off a game like it. I think the last time was when we was 3-0 down against Fleet that I actually went three up front. Uh, but we took the game to them and uh, I thought it was well worthy of our lead and uh, it should have been a lot more. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, very interesting. And the way that results have gone in the, in, uh, in the league today, Thamesmead winning 5 minute at Croydon, uh, puts our 2 0 defeat of them last week into some sort of context. Well, as well. I, I said last week Thamesmead were a good side, mm. but don't take anything away, yeah, we were a good side. Yeah. You know, and last week we showed we were a good side, you know, and uh, oh, it didn't surprise me if Thamesmead won. It didn't surprise me. I'm, I'm surprised by the uh, scoreline. You know, but, but we're not there. You know, we're not there. They could have had five shots and scored all five, and Croydon could have had a few chances. They could have had a man sent off. We don't know at the moment. But you know, same as people would look at this and think it was tight. But only the scoreline's tight. The game wasn't tight. So, but it's you know, like I say, tends to be a good side. Uh, we've known that. You know, it's a great result. You know, it's a, the team to watch at the moment. And, and it, uh, Keith will be over the moon at tends to for them to bounce back. You Absolutely. know, but that's what good sides do. They bounce back, and that's what tends to have done. And, you know, it's, you know, it's good for us that we've still got that four-point cushion. Yeah. And uh, now we've got uh, Tuesday night to look forward to. I know that uh, your focus now is on the next game and not the one after. So uh, we look forward to Tuesday against Deal and uh, we'll just go on from there. Well, no, so it's a big opportunity to us, uh, for us to open up a seven-point gap. Mm. You know, and uh, it's, like, I, like I just said, Deal is a very, very hard place to go to. You know, and they will be right up for it. Everybody wants to be the first team to beat us. You know, but look, like I said, we're a good side. You know, and we deserve to be where we are at the moment. And hopefully, uh, we can go down there and put in a put, put in a performance worthy of our position and uh, get on and uh, get the job done. Well done, Mark. Well, thanks very much indeed. Cheers, Danny. Thank, Thank you. you.